As someone who has worked with hundreds of business owners as a business strategist and also has a master's degree in business, here's what I think are the most loved and the most hated marketing advice. Let's start with the most hated. Coming in at number one is niche. I don't know what about the word niche that makes people so annoyed. When you tell people that they need to find a niche, they'll find a way to tell you, well, I am the niche. I don't want to find a niche. But there are some people also who swear by a niche or you need to have a niche. It's just one of those words or one of those advice that there is always controversy around. Do you need a niche? Do you not need a niche? Like there's always niche. So that's number one. The second one I will say is it depends on where you are on the spectrum and that's ads. There are some people who swear by ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Google ads or whatever. But there are some people who are like, I don't want to do ads. I don't know. It just feels some type of way, which is interesting because in business school, one of the things that you are taught is that you have to advertise your business as much people have to see your business. Back in the days, people used to take out ads in the newspaper. They used to take out ads, infomercial in the middle of the night. So it's a thing. And most people who made money in there, they were doing ads. But people just don't like ads. I don't know what it is, but it seems like it's one of those. So I don't know. By the way, you can also add your comments. Let me know which are the ones that you like or which are the ones that you dislike as well. Let's move on to the third one. The third one, this one is even personal to me. It's books or titles. You know how when you're creating content, you're always giving the advice of make sure that your hook is strong. Make sure that you have a clear hook. Make sure this and that. For me personally, when it comes to creating content for Instagram and all of that, I'm okay with that. But it's YouTube. It's this YouTube. You know, the advice that I keep saying is you need to make sure that your title and your thumbnail, your title and your thumbnail. It's like, I'm like, oh my God, can't I just create content? I just want to create videos. But it's one of those advice that you cannot run away from because it actually works. I've realized that when I started putting, you know, more effort on my title and my thumbnail and everything, you know, it brings in some, some results as well. By the way, make sure you subscribe and you comment, you know, like, like the, like the video. It helps me as well. And it also let, lets me know that you guys enjoy what I'm creating and that I'm putting some effort in my hooks or my titles. So that's number three, hooks and titles. The other one is hold DMs. I think this one is the most hated. Nobody likes to be pitched in their DMs. Nobody likes that. And nobody likes to be told that how you can make money is go and pitch to people. Cold DMs. I don't know. How do you feel about cold DMs? Like when people reach out to you, let's say by DMs or by email, and they're pitching themselves to you. How do you feel about that? The final one I'll say will be video marketing. I don't know why people just don't like sitting on video. How many times have I spoken to people and said, if you create more video content, and this used to be me as well, I did not enjoy creating video content. Video content that requires me to sit in front of the camera. But I feel like it works. It converts more. But it's one of those advice that people just don't like doing. Let's now move on to the most loved, which is strange, because number one here is content. But it's not video. I've realized that when you tell people that they have to create content that they don't have to be in, they love that advice. Content that they don't have to be in, something that, you know, they can just take a picture or a stock image or something out of somewhere and create content around that so that they can get customers or bring people around their page. They love that, but they don't love the video version of that. And another thing that I think people love a marketing advice that people love is if you tell them that they have to make an offer. Oh, people love making offers. If you tell them, oh, the best way that you can make money is go and create an offer, create something that people will buy. People can spend hours and hours and hours creating an offer. I think that's something that everybody enjoys doing. If you have a digital business, if you have a physical business, everybody enjoys creating offers because when you're creating it, you're just imagining Oh my God, how many people are going to buy? Like, have you done that before when you're creating the offer? You're like, 
us 100 people buy this offer at 27 dollars or this and that this is how much i'm going to make people enjoy that but when it comes to now marketing this offer i think people do not enjoy that so this is a very very short list i just wanted to create this this type of content because it came in my head let me know what you think and i'll see you in the comments <laughs>